has stopped and we have decided to adventure out. We're going to try and catch a few things today, catch a few hours at the beach. We have something very interesting to show you. Let's go see. This is the Coast Guard 36500 and if you recognize it, um, you must know the story behind it where U.S. Coast Guard used it to rescue 32 seamen from the Pendleton in 1952, which was deemed by some to be a suicide mission because of the hurricane force winds. Nobody thought the boat would get through, but the boat was built for that. There's some features on the boat, like uh, I believe it has a 2,000 pound hull that makes it very hard to sink. Anyways, gotta be a good story because Disney made a movie, so you gotta check out the movie. It's a bit of a wait to get into the parking at Nosset Beach if you don't get here early. And the parking spots are tight. After a great day at the beach, we ended the day with a live stream on the road. There on the next trip. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, guys. Good night. Good morning. Well, the weather's cooperating today. And so we have come back to Nasa Beach. When we were on our way out the other day, it's $25 to come in here. So when we left the other day, um, I used the $25 I had already paid and bought and uh, renewed my American the Beautiful Pills. So today it, we went in for free. And lots of parking if you get here early, but it is filling up fast. Anyways, I'm going to unload the truck and let's get down to the water. The last time we came, there was a set of stairs at the end of the parking lot to go down to the beach. But with all the erosion, uh, the stairs fell. And now they've built this ramp that goes backwards away from the ocean so it should last a lot longer but it's also a lot longer walk especially if you have all the beach chairs and you've got the buggy and umbrella and everything so a bit of a longer walk but this is meant to last You can see up here on the cliffs where the, the power lines are right near the edge and there's houses right along the edge here too and it's only a matter of time before they go into the ocean just like everything else here. They moved the lighthouse a couple years ago, I think just before last time we were here and they're talking about moving it again. So we'll have to check back in a couple years and see what's become of these houses and this beach. Look at that one, the fence is right on the edge of the cliff. Oh, we found the place where all the cool seals hang out. We 
start a better life We don't know where it's going But we ain't going slow I want to fall in love tonight You and I chasing flies We were here I think in 2012 and the lighthouse was actually moved in 96 so it's been here for almost 30 years I guess and the edge is right there you can see all the gravel being the gravel and the sand filling the roadway and everything's just being washed out to the sea pretty neat place all right we are done at the beach for the day on well, this beach anyways there's so many rocks that when the when the waves come in uh, your feet get pelted with rocks the water is 60 degrees so we're just gonna head back to the trailer for lunch and then might do another beach after We needed a bit of groceries, so we stopped at the first store that we that we saw to buy a couple things for lunch. And we just happened to come across this little park. Some neat little things in it. It's a little gem on the side of the highway. You can't really see it from the highway, so it's kind of neat to just find it. They've got the uh, the boy tree, the gazebo behind me, and this windmill. So it's 340 years old, and all of the wood inside is actually the original wood. Um, so something interesting about this windmill is that the whole top of this actually rotates and so the miller would have to come into work every day and figure out which direction the wind was blowing and then they would rotate the top so that the blades were in the right direction to blow in the wind and the way that they would rotate this windmill is they would hook a horse up over there the horse would walk around and then the top of it would rotate in your eyes there's a better life Could it be you and I? 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 It's dinner time. Tonight we're having a simple Greek salad with some homemade gyros. And some roasted garlic potatoes. Time to eat. Good night. Coming up next, it's our last day in Cape Cod and there's so much to see. And some things we'd rather not see. We visit some quirky shops. And we walk the ocean floor before visiting a cool tower and the best beach in Cape Cod. So join us next time. Our next adventure is just around the corner.